Hello Algebra 2 students. In today's video, we are going to start lesson 5.4 solving radical equations and we will learn how to solve the radical equations. Remember that a radical has nth root and when the nth root it is even, then the radicand has two different real solutions. And when the root, the nth root, it is odd, then it is only one solution, whatever any real number. The first step in solving any radical equation is to find the domain, the values that they satisfy that radical. And again, remember, this is going to happen when the radical, the nth root of it, it will be an even number. So let's say the first step, we will find the domain, the x values for which the radical it is satisfied. And we will do this if the nth root, it is any even number, like 2, 4, 6, and so on. And the radicand, such that the radical x is, it has to be greater than or equals to zero. In the second step, we will isolate the radical use the inverse operations and solve for the variable. Let's see. On page 263, question 1a, we have square root x minus 2 plus 3 equals to 5. So, first of all, the nth root it is 2 without being written. So, 2 it's an even number, so we have to find the domain of this radicand. So, x minus 2 greater than or equals to 0. Solve for x, x greater than or equals to 2. So, such that the equation, it is true, the identity, it is true, the x value, it has to be greater than or equals to 2. Now, we will isolate the radical minus 3, minus 3. So, it will be square root x minus 2 equals to 5 minus 3, it is 2. Now, remove the radical using the inverse operation of it, which is the power. As long here it's 2, the nth root is 2, we will square it. And whatever is done one side, we will do the same thing on the other side. In this way, the radical will disappear, so it will be left x minus 2 equals to 4. Solve for x. So finally, we found x equals to 6. And now we check. Is it 6 greater than or equals to 2? Yes, it's true. 6, it is greater than or equals to 2. This is true, which means x equals to 6. It is solution of this equation. Let's try more. Question 1b. Cubic root of x minus 1 equals to 2. Now, the nth root, it is odd number, so we don't have to put condition of the existence of the radicand. The radicand, it can be positive, negative, it doesn't matter. Now, the second step that we said we have to do is to make the radical disappear. So, using the inverse operation of the radical, which is the power. As long as the nth root is 3, we will cube all of this radicand. And the same thing, we'll do it on the other side. It will be x minus 1 equals 2 cubed. It is 8. Solve for x. So x equals to 9. This is the solution of the equation. On page 265, so we have question 3a. First of all, the radical, the nth root, it is squared, so we have to put the condition of the existence, which is 7x plus 8 greater than or equals to 0. The radical greater than or equals to 0, solve for x. 7x 
greater than or equals to 8. So x has to be greater than or equals to 8 over 7. And we have x equals square root of 7x plus 8. The radical, it is isolated, and now we have to remove it using the inverse of the radical, which is power. The nth root is 2, so we will square it, and we do this on both of the sides. So it will be x squared equals 7x plus 8. This is a quadratic equation, so to solve it, we have to put it in standard form, x squared minus 7x minus 8 equals to 0. Factor it. So it will be x minus 8 times x plus 1 equals to 0. From the first one, x equals to 8, and from the second factor, x equals to negative 1. Now, we have to check which one of these two solutions they satisfy the inequality. And x equals 8, 8, it is greater than or equals to 8 over 7. So this is solution. But negative 1, it is less than 8 over 7. So this is not solution. This is called extraneous solution. Negative 1, it is solution for the quadratic equation obtained, but it is not solution for the given radical equation. Let's try a little bit more. 3b, so again the radical, the nth root, it is even, so we have to put the condition of the existence, which is radical greater than or equals to 0, and from here x greater than or equals to negative 2. So we have x plus 2 equals square root of x plus 2. The radical, it is isolated, now we have to remove it, use the inverse of the square root, which is the square, and do it on both of the sides. From left to right, binomial square, it will be x square plus 4x plus 4 equals to x plus 2. Put it in standard form equals to 0. So it will be x square plus 3x plus 2 equals to 0. Factor it. So x plus 2 times x plus 1 equals to 0. From the first factor, x equals to negative 2. And from the second, x equals to negative 1. Now the two solutions, we have to check them with the domain. So we said x has to be greater than or equals to negative 2. Negative 2 we found. It is greater than or equals to negative 2. So negative 2 equals negative 2. So this is solution. Negative 1 greater than or equals to negative 2. And this is true also. So this equation, radical equation, it has two real solutions. On page 266, they give us x squared plus 5x plus 5 all to exponent 5 over 2 equals to 1. So this is rational exponent. And remember, rational exponent, it came from radical. So let's try to remember it. If we have b to m over n, in simplest form, it will be nth root of b to m. So that we will know what is the nth root, always check the denominator. So denominator it is 2, which means that the nth root it is even, so we have to put the condition of the existence, which is radicand. Has to be greater than or equals to 0. 
We cannot factor it, so to solve it, we are going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac all over 2a. So x12 equals <clears throat> b is 5, so negative b it will be negative 5 plus minus square root. B square, so 5 square, 25. Negative 4 times 1 times 5, it will be negative 20. Over 2, A coefficient of X square, it is 1, so over 2. So X1, 2, it will be equals negative 5 plus or minus square root. 25 over 20, it is 5 over 2. Let me just put this value on the calculator and see what exactly we are going to get from here. So it will be negative 5 plus square root of 5 and divided by 2 it will be x equals negative 1.38. And x2, negative 5 minus square root of 5, divided by 2, it will be negative 3.61. So this is quadratic inequality, if you remember it. The solutions we found, we will plot them on the number line. And we have negative 3.61 and we have negative 1.38. Look for the interval that contains x equals to 0, so we have it somewhere in this side, and substitute in our inequality. So if we put here 0, all of this it will be positive. Let's say x equals negative 2. And negative 2, it will be here 4 plus 5, 9, and it will be negative, and here positive. So x squared plus 5x plus 5 greater than or equals to 0, which means positive. So then the x, it has to be included in the interval negative infinity, negative 3.61, closed, or... negative 1.38 to positive infinity. Now let's see. I will write it on the other slide that we can see it clear. So we have x squared plus 5x plus 5 all to exponent 5 over 2 equals to 1. Now, we need here exponent, not rational. We have to make it 1. And to make it 1, we will do it times the reciprocal. So, all of it to exponent 2 over 5. What we did, did one side, we will do it on the other side. So, it will be x squared plus 5x plus 5 equals to 1, whatever is the exponent for 1, the answer it will be 1. Solve it, put it in standard form, minus 1. It will be x squared plus 5x plus 4 equals to 0. Factor it. So it will be x plus 4 times x plus 1 equals to 0. From the first factor, x is negative 4, and from the second factor, x equals negative 1. We found that x has to be included in the interval negative infinity, negative 3.61, closed, or negative 1.38 to positive infinity. Now let's check. Negative 4. It's in this interval, and negative 1, it's in this interval. So then, both of them, 
they are solution. On page 267, question number 5a. In this kind of equation, the radical is given twice. So it's not only one radical as we did before. The steps we are going to follow are the same exactly. So first of all, let's find the domain. Radicand, it has to be greater than or equals to zero. So first of all, x plus 4 greater than or equals to zero which means x greater than or equals negative 4. And from the second one, 3x greater than or equals to 0, which means x greater than or equals to 0. Number line, the two values we found, we'll plot them on the number line to see where do they intersect. The two intervals, where do they intersect? So we have here negative 4 and 0. So x greater than or equals to negative 4 and x greater than or equals to 0. So the inter they intersect in the interval 0 close to positive infinity. So the domain it will be x greater than or equals to 0 or we can write 0 positive infinity. So we have square root of x plus 4 minus square root of 3x equals to negative 2. So first of all, we found the domain. Now we have to isolate the radical. We cannot keep in the same expression two radicals. So always has to be only one radical. One of them, we have to move it on the other side. So then let's move this one. So in each expression, left, right of equals there, it has to be only one radical. Then it's going to be square root of x plus 4 equals square root 3x minus 2. To remove the square root, we will use the inverse of the root, which is the exponent. Here, the nth root is 2, so we will square it. Whatever is done one side, the same thing will do it on the other side. So it will be x plus 4 equals. This is a binomial square, so square root of 3x squared, it will be 3x minus 2 times 2, 4 square root 3x and negative 2 square it will be plus 4. We have left the radical in this side so we we'll isolate this one now so minus 3x minus 3x minus 4 and minus 4 and get the simplest form here x minus 3x is negative 2x. 4 minus 4 is 0 equals negative 4 square root 3x. Uh, we remove the radical by squaring both of the sides. So it will be 4x squared equals 4 squared, it is 16 times square root 3x squared, it will be 3x. And we can simplify by 4, and we will have x squared equals 4 times 3, 12x. Get it in standard form, x squared minus 12x equals to 0. Factor it, so x is common factor, x times x minus 12 equals to 0. From the first factor, x equals to 0, and from the second, x equals to 12. Now let's see if these two solutions, they satisfy the domain we found. So we said x greater than or equals to 0. 0, it is equals to 0, so it's solution. 12, it is greater than or equals to 0, solution 2. So the equation has two different real solutions.
Thank you.